welcome back to NCAA On Campus. I'm Melissa Knowles in Flagstaff, Arizona at Northern Arizona University. This school was founded in 1899 as the Arizona Normal School, and it went through a couple of name changes until 1966 when it became NAU. Today, the Lumberjacks compete as a Division I school in the Big Sky Conference. Now, there are over 11,000 undergrads on this campus, but probably no one has made a journey quite as remarkable as Lopez Lamont. This Beyond the Athlete feature is brought to you by Coca-Cola. In Fayetteville, Arkansas last month at the Division I Indoor Championships, Lopez Lamont, a sophomore at Northern Arizona University, won the 3,000 meter race and won his first NCAA championship. It was not, however, his greatest run. Nor were his three titles earlier this season in the 800, the mile, and the 3K at the Big Sky Indoor Championships. And the fourth place finish at the Cross Country Championships last fall? Pretty good for the sophomore. But none of these great races can compare to the run he made 16 years ago in his home country of Sudan. It was a run to freedom. I basically, you know, grew up by myself. I spread it with my family when I was six years old. We went to the church like one morning. And, um, you know, all of a sudden we just, you see these rebels coming into the, uh, you know, the rebels just came to the church and ordered everybody to lay down with their stomach, you know, all those things. They, they ordered every, all the kids, you know, they basically took us from our family. They put us in this one roof, one roof uh, prison, basically. So we, we went there, we were about like, you know, I say maybe uh, 90 or uh, 100. We just, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even count because I was just like crying, you know, so, you know missing my parents, kids were dying every, every day. Basically, uh, the target for the rebel, they want the kids rather than like older people because it's easier to brainwash the kids to be a soldier, to go kill, than actually teaching the, the, uh, the grown-up to go, to go do that. Because like, you know, the, the only thing that they will teach you is just like, they give you a gun and they say, okay, if you see somebody, pull the trigger. After a month in the rebel camp, six-year-old Lopez Lamang, helped by two older boys from his village, crawled through a hole in the camp fence and made a run to freedom. In the middle of the night, one grabbed my, my left hand and the other grabbed my, the other hand. We crawled and then, you know, we went through that hole and the race started. That's where all my races started, right there. For three days and three nights, Lopez ran, stopping only for water, until he and his friends were arrested by the Kenyan border police and taken to the Kakuma refugee camp. I stayed there for 10 years by myself until I was 16. I would be my own parent, I would be my own kid, I would be like everything, you know. No matter what it takes, I have to like, you know, go for that and just uh, live. For that 10 years, actually, I went to school, you know, you know, this school where you go in the morning, you come back at 12 o'clock, you know, uh, we basically we were just going there and sing, sing some songs and, you know, forget about what's going on. Lopez's incredible journey continued when he was adopted by a family in Syracuse, New York. It was there that he ran cross country for the first time and learned so much more, like how to operate a dimmer and a shower handle. I had to learn a lot of things that I, you know, that I didn't know, like, you know, switching off the lights of and on, you know, like, you know, water, like, you know, taking shower with like, you know, with uh, cold water. I was taking, you know, I was taking uh, water with cold water. I was like, wow, this is, this is really cold. I guess maybe American, this is how American take shower. Maybe that's why they are white. So, so, I, I was, <laughs> so I was like taking a shower with like, you know, I was freezing my room and, you know, and my lights was like bright in the middle of the night. At Northern Arizona University, Lopez has excelled. He owns three school records and he's just finishing his sophomore season. The fact that Lopez is a great 800 meter runner as well as a great cross country runner is very, very rare. His background, it makes him tougher. Uh, he's, he's seen things that none of, none of the other kids on the team have seen before, so it gives him a different perspective on life and what hard work is and what pain is. And, uh, and I think it's certainly benefited 
his, uh, his athletic ability. What we do as middle distance and distance runners is manage pain and, and be able to do it at a, uh, um, while being able to focus and stay relaxed. Lopez's first place run in March at the NCAA Indoor Championships was just the latest step in his incredible journey. Up next, win some more races, earn his degree from NAU in hotel administration, return to the Sudan and reunite with the family he lost 16 years ago, and to never forget the road he has traveled. He was once lost, but now he's found. Pray God all the time, wake up and say, hey, thank you very much for keeping me here. And, uh, you know, I hope I, I would like to continue doing what I'm doing, you know, see how far it's gonna take me. The pain that I went through, you know, the, hung the hunger that I went through, is not gonna happen here. So it's, it's a lot easier doing something on the track than, you know, um, seeing the death, you know, coming, coming to you and you just like skip from there. It's awesome.